Janome. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Michael Smith, the National Consumer Education Manager of Genome Canada, and I'm very excited to be with you today because, you know, we're always trying to share more Genome love. There is so much to share about all of our Genome machines, and of course, just in general, the love of sewing and quilting and all things creating. So I'm very happy to introduce you to a new member of our Genome Canada education team. I'll bring on the man of the hour because yes, men do so too. So I'm very excited to introduce you all to the fabulous Tobias Binder, or I should say Binder. I always want to say Binder because I think of our quilt binder attachment, yes. <laughs> but it's actually Binder. So everyone, this is uh, Tobias Binder. So hello and thank you and welcome to the Genome Canada education team. Hello, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm very excited to be part of the team. Yes, and we're certainly excited to have you because again, there is so much and there is more, 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 more. So I thought it would be fun to do this uh, little video and then you could uh, introduce yourself, uh, share a little bit about your sewing journey. Everyone wants to know how did you get started in sewing? Uh, certainly to show some of your samples uh, because you know everyone, um, we're heading then back out to the dealer stores this coming spring and in fall. Typically we don't go to the dealer store very much throughout the summer because of course everyone's out in the garden and traveling and enjoying the beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. uh, but certainly in the spring and fall we'll be out in the dealer store. So maybe Tobias will be at a Janome dealer store near you. So take it away, uh, Tobias, if you can just uh, let us know again, how did you get started in sewing? Yes, so uh, back when I was working, at a summer day camp, uh, a coworker of mine brought in a really cool pair of split pants. So, you know, cutting one leg from one pair of pants and another leg from another pair and sewing them together. And he said that, you know, he didn't really have any sewing machine experience. He kind of just made it happen. So I thought, wow, shouldn't I try something like that? Mm -hmm. And, uh, I expressed my interest and my great aunt who loves to sew, she got excited and bought me my own sewing machine. Oh, and fabulous. that is what, yes. Dare I ask lucky. what brand? If it's not Janome, don't say it. <laughs> well, then I shouldn't say. <laughs> no, okay. And that's okay too. <laughs> if, on, if only I had known, it would have been yes, Janome. <laughs> everybody's got to start somewhere. Yes. yes. Um, so yeah, so that, that machine got me through a lot and, um, it sort of uh, started me on my path to where I am today. And exactly. uh, I guess then I could say that uh, I learned that my great grandfather was a tailor back in the day. Oh, wow. Um, Very cool. Yes. I saw his, uh, his certificate. He oh, trained sweet. in Paris. Wow. Uh, oh, 19, even better. Oh, my gosh. 1929 is when the certificate is from. Wow. Uh, yes. And the the crazy thing is, uh, I was talking to my great uncle, and I got his his shears, which are like oh you my know, gosh, this, this big, and they're incredible, and uh, a couple of rulers. Do you actually and, use those shears? Oh yes, I had them sharpened. Wow, they're now the that's a good testament to you know <laughs> invest in your tools, especially for a lot of young sewists. Again, we are new sewists; you don't want to spend a lot of money, but invest in your tools. And those shears are still going strong, like almost a hundred years later. That's incredible. <laughs> yes, almost a hundred years. I use them every day, pretty oh, much sweet. every time I sew. And um, yeah, and his big old wooden ruler is incredible. Oh my god, that's incredible. Yes. So one might say uh, sewing was in your genes. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, and speaking of genes, you actually have uh, sewn. That's one of the the things you really enjoy sewing, right? Yes. That's actually another crazy thing is my great uncle said that his specialty was trousers. Oh, I wow. Said, wow. Well, isn't that, isn't that funny? Because that's also my favorite thing to sew. Oh, pants. very cool. So I thought that was kind of, you know, probably not a coincidence. Um, so yeah, I love sewing pants is definitely my, my number one thing, mm. but I also love to do sweatshirts and I love to do Bucket hats. I'll show you my. Uh, oh yes, let's bucket we'll hat here. put you uh, full screen here. So yes, very cute. 
Yes. <laughs> we so don't need bad. it so much right now for winter, but if you go away somewhere, somewhere hot and sunny, how perfect. Exactly. Very vacation-y. And I guess like, I'll show you this as well while we're at it. I did this nice fleece jacket for myself. Oh, now that would be perfect for winter. Yes, exactly. And I like the, uh, I think the combination of the navy and the the Scooby-Doo orange, as I would call <laughs> it, is a good combination. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And um, yeah, and I guess I'll show you while we're at it, a pair of, uh, pair of pants. Oh, yes. Yeah. Speaking of jeans, Speaking very of cool. Jeans, got a pair of jeans here. Now, pants in particular, a lot of people are really afraid because of the fit and the details, like all the top stitching, the, mm. you know, the, the little button, the rivets, the zippers. So great that you're uh, very familiar with those specialized techniques. Oh, yes. I love like uh, stitch quality and top stitching. That's like, oh, I love taking the time to uh, to get those things right because it just makes the whole project and uh, really gives it that professional look, especially the hardware, really gives it that finishing touch. Um, so I love using double cap rivets, especially um, for the uh, the side pockets and, you know, matching the button and getting it all just looking cohesive. Um, so then, I guess the other samples that I have, um, I work for a vintage clothing store here in Guelph. And oh, cool. They have and the name work. is? It's called Vintage Instincts. And they do something called the Rework Collection, where oh. maybe they'll take like a, a Nike sweatshirt and it has a big old stain on the front. And so they'll give mm. me, a, maybe it's a Mickey Mouse t-shirt or something, and I'll cut out the graphic and sort of uh, overlay that graphic over the stain. And then they say, oh, it's a Nike uh, plus Mickey Mouse, you know, rework yes. one of one. Oh, okay. So I end up with a lot of t-shirt and sweatshirt scraps. Way more, you know, every month I, you know, have a box or two and I had only so much that I can do with them. But I end up making cool things. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like this shirt here. Yes, very cool. Yes, where I like to stitch together. I'll do like a, uh, I'll serge them together to create that seam. And then I'll top stitch it with the cover stitch machine to give it that really nice professional finish while allowing it to stretch and lay flat. Um, and then I sort of make a t-shirt from scratch out of that yardage that I've created. That um, is a great idea. And then lay your pattern on top and yes. cut out the t-shirt as normal. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so sweet. I think of it as, you know, you first make the fabric and then Ooh. you make your garment. <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. And that's a great way to use, you know, when we do like the t-shirt quilts, uh, we always end up with like the, the sleeves left over, maybe a little bit of the, the top. If you cut off the bottom of the t-shirt maybe the back of the t-shirt you're not using at all. Oh, but it's still good, you know, fabric, what to do with it? Well, that's a great idea. Put it all together and and cut another garment out of it. I think that's great. Yeah. And I guess I, I think I could show one more or- Oh, yes. I'll show- Everybody uh, loves I'll to show see this. samples for inspiration. Yes, well, this bag rather, I was gonna show more pants, but we've seen enough pants. We can uh, <laughs> show this little bag here that I made a while ago to go with a matching outfit, you know, when you have leftover fabric, why not create an accessory to go with it? Because when things match, I find that's when people say, oh, you know, you got those two matching things. Where where did you get that? Or what's the story? And yes. say, I sewed it myself. <laughs> so, Very yeah, cool. This, this and nice yes, hardware can really make a big difference. Oh, yes. Yeah, you have your D-rings and your, your slider in the middle. And of course, the zipper and the the lining. Oh, very nice. Makes it all very nice. Yes, it definitely adds the professional finish, the professional touches uh, that we're all looking for in one of the joys of us uh, sewing. Uh, absolutely. You want a whole matching outfit? Well, yeah, this is how you can do it and uh, customize it however you want. Then I love when, again, people stop us and say, oh, wow, you made that, as opposed to, oh, 
you made yeah. that. <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. that we do want those, again, professional uh, finishes, uh, but then again, you can customize it. So again, things like the, the hardware and all that really make a big difference. Yes. Lining bags inside. Oh, I love everything. Even the little zippy pouches and all that. I love having a lining inside, hiding all the you know, seam allowances and all that. Nobody yes. wants to see that. No. Uh, you know, when I studied fashion design in college, my sewing teacher always said the the inside of the project, the inside of the garment, you know, even a bag, it's got to look as good as the outside. So I've always kept that in mind and I'm glad you're uh, of the same mindset there. <laughs> it looks oh, very yes. beautiful. Yes. So of all the things that you like to sew, would you describe yourself uh, more as a garment sewer then? Oh, absolutely. I am a garment sewer at heart. I yes, do, excellent. yeah, I do a bit of embroidery. I play uh, in a band. And um, naturally, when you play in a band, you want to try to, uh, you know, make back a little bit of what you put in. So you want to sell yeah. merchandise. Cool. Uh, so my roommate and I decided to invest in a Janome MB4. Uh, oh, sweet. The multi needle machine. The multi needle, yes. yes. Um, I've used a few multi needles before, so I thought, you know, why don't we just get one and we can start embroidering merchandise. Sweet. And uh, yeah, so I've been using that a lot. Really, really fun. Um, what and uh, yeah, I guess what <laughs> I can talk about now is uh, how I got into machine servicing. Uh, yes, because so. this is something else that's very unique, I find, to you. A lot of people ask me, oh, Michael, do you service machines? Oh, I wish I had time. I wish I had that expertise. Uh, we have a fabulous technician at the Genome Sewing and Learning Center, uh, Mark, <laughs> who's been with us for years and years and years. Uh, but again, it's always great to know a little more. So, Toby, yes, you actually service machines. You're familiar with taking them all apart. Yes. Uh, yeah, I started with, like a lot of people, just old machines, you know, 50-year-old, 100-year-old machines, <laughs> um, picking them up and taking them apart and restoring them to their original condition. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. And I started volunteering. It was during the start of COVID when everyone was sewing masks. There was oh, yeah. a, a mask and scrub cap uh, sewing volunteer group on Facebook for Guelph. Oh. And, That's you know, cool. they were making thousands and of masks and caps and gowns for hospitals and whoever. Oh, yes. Uh, and I, so I started servicing these people's machines for free because oh, I was sweet. just starting out and I was learning. Um, and that's kind of how I started. And then after that, I thought, well, you know, there seems to be a demand for this. So I started doing it Ooh. as a little home side business type thing. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to, you know, I was still mystified by computerized machines and mm. embroidery <laughs> machines because I'd, I'd open it up and all oh, all these wires. What, what do I do with uh, that? Yeah. <laughs> very intimidating. And I didn't know how to service those at the time. Mm. And I really wanted to expand my knowledge. So I went to uh, a training course in Texas, USA. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, back in September of 2021. and. I learned, you know, they are very knowledgeable people there. They're a dealership and uh, service center for all all the brands, including Janome. Oh, and cool. uh, they, yeah, they taught us, you know, the right products to use, how to how to open them up and service them, and mm. how to deal with this and that problem. Um, and even, you know, with older machines, I learned how to how to do it, I guess, the right way, as some people yeah. would say. It everyone has a slightly different way, but I. Oh yeah definitely refined my skills there and so yeah after that i just started servicing everything and um cool. yeah so it's been really really cool i still do enjoy it but i think now that, that i'm with Janome, i'm gonna take a little step back from servicing because <laughs> as much fun as it is i am it is just me sitting in my basement you know tinkering with machines and mm. i'd rather be out in the world you know talking about sewing machines and connecting with people but um, it'll always have a special place in my heart. <laughs> well, yes, and it's actually very good to have that. Again, why I'd love to learn more. There's always more uh, about the mechanics of sewing and you know the machines itself. And I absolutely love when I'm at the Sewing and Learning Center and I go into our 
uh, back warehouse and Mark mm -hmm. has his station there uh, repairing the machines. And I love to see them all blown apart. All the covers are off and you see the guts of the machine. Then you really see how well Janome machines are built. They're all the cast aluminum base. And then again, all the, the pretty pieces are in that. But it's amazing to me to see all the wires and the, um, you know, all the, the metal parts that are in the machines. And then, yeah, when we get into the computerized ones, all the boards and it's like, wow, it's a lot to learn. But I yeah. really respect uh, my sewing machine even more when I see the insides of it and how hard it is working and how much I take for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always sewn on Janome for, you know, 30 plus years now. <laughs> I've always sewn on Janome and I, again, really take for granted where wherever I need it, you know, it's there. I just turn it on and it does what it needs mm -hmm. to do. I don't really think, or I hadn't really thought the mechanics behind it. But then again, seeing the machine all opened up and you really see, wow, this does amazing the engineering behind it all is just amazing so i love that you have that insider knowledge yes yeah and, and we're uh, definitely going to put it to good use because uh tobias is going to be writing a lot of genome life blogs and i would absolutely love you to write some blogs about care and maintenance obviously mm -hmm. we don't want the consumer to start opening up their machines and servicing them so, no that's why you're authorized service genome technician is out there. <laughs> so when you need a service, you know, contact your genome dealer and let them take the machine apart. Uh, there's a lot of though care and maintenance that the uh, consumer can do at home to clean the machine, you know, down in the bobbin area to make the machine running smoothly. So that's all uh, blogs I would love, uh, Toby, <laughs> to yes. put you on the spot here. Good. Those are the kind of blogs I would love you to write uh, and maybe include some videos uh, for our customers because, you know, the, everybody's always curious, what can I do at home to keep my machine running smoothly in between those service appointments? Yes. So we'll put are... your knowledge to good use. <laughs> yes. There is a lot that the consumer or the, the sewer can do to keep their machine in good shape. A lot of the time it's, you know, it's just as simple as cleaning out the bobbin area and mm -hmm. maybe giving the hook a drop of oil and uh, boom, your, your machine's running smoothly again. So I'm very excited to be doing those kind of videos. And yes, uh, something excellent. relating to what you were saying before is uh, at my repair workbench is really where I fell in love with Janome because, you know, I'm opening up all these machines and I'm like, wow, there's every single Janome machine I'm coming across, you know, entry level to high end embroidery. They're all well made. There's not a single Janome machine that I think, oh, well, this this isn't well made. No, they're they've all got. Yeah. As you said, that, you know, aluminum metal frame. Yes. That everything is attached into. Uh, and it, they're just they're well made. Honestly, I mean, there's n nothing much more to say about it. <laughs> uh, they run smoothly. Yeah. Um, always, always a pleasure to work on. Oh, excellent. Yes, it's uh, amazing to me. Uh, again, going into our dealer stores, uh, and again, Tobias will be going out to the uh, dealer stores, eventually doing some events. And I always like uh, those dealers that have uh, an on-site service area. Um, because then uh, again, I love to, I'm nosy. I love to sneak around and what's mm -hmm. happening. And I go back into their service areas and see what machines are being serviced and mm -hmm. it amazes me the uh i have a 31 year old Janome machine at this point and again uh but it always amazes me a lot of those machines in these dealers you know service areas they're 30 40 50 years old because there's just they just don't die uh mm -hmm. i think you know we'll be we'll be long gone before those machines are ready for the scrap heap it's it's just incredible and again that regular care and maintenance and service will keep your machine going 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 it's usually the electronics that will go the technology changes but the mechanics the the again the the metal, the engineering, the, the the regular sewing part of the machine, that'll go on forever. Yes. And that's something I want to stress. You said with regular care and maintenance. Yes. Very important. You know, if you if you leave your sewing machine in a garage for 30 years, well then hey, that's a different story. <laughs> you know, mm. the metal is not gonna, you know, behave kindly in those conditions. But if you yes. keep your machine in good 
condition and have it serviced regularly, it yeah, it will it will last a very long time. Unless of course you're trying to uh sew through stainless steel or, or something like uh, that. Yes. <laughs> yes. As long as you very don't use point. it. <laughs> Yes, use it for its intended purposes. Uh, then overall, yes, it, it, it's okay for the most part. Everything can be fixable. Uh, if you're doing stuff like that, then maybe it's like, oh, it's time for a new machine. Uh, yes. But I was thinking, yes, you wouldn't leave a car, you know, sitting in a garage uh, for, you know, 20 years and not, you know, taking it out for a, a spin just to make sure, again, that, that metal wants to move and and, you know, you need to, uh, to work it in order for it to work correctly. So, you know, why would you expect your sewing machine, you know, to do the same? It needs to yes. be used and loved. And yeah, a little bit of uh, regular care and maintenance goes a long way. So again, uh, I love, uh, Tobias, that you've got that, um, again, that insider knowledge of the the uh, servicing of the machine that you can pass along to our customers. They, re they really appreciate that. Yes. Uh, now, also, I wanted to let everyone know, as I can... Uh, play around with my screen here uh, to say that you can go on to our Genomi Canada website. There, I hope you can all see my screen. You can go on to the genomi.ca site and click the Inspire tab. And then there you can scroll down. You see lots of great information. <laughs> Uh, but when we hit the Inspire tab, we have the Genomi Educators, and we hit the Meet the Educators tab and scroll down, and there we all are, the whole education team, because, you know, I can't do it all alone. Uh, so it's wonderful to have more help to, again, share more Genomi love. So you can scroll through, read a little bit all uh, about all of us, and then uh, there is... Tobias, the newest member of the team. Uh, you even have a uh, TikTok account. Yes. So then, uh, yes, then that is fun that people can even follow you on TikTok. We also have a Genomi Canada TikTok mm -hmm. account. Uh, so uh, again, we're trying to, again, share the more Genomi love everywhere possible. So of course, we've got our Genomi Canada, Facebook and Instagram, our Genomi HQ, Facebook and Instagram, Genomi HQ YouTube channel, Genomi Life blog, now Genomi Canada TikTok, and then uh, our followers can even then follow you, uh, Tobias, on your own TikTok uh, as well. And you've got a um, couple of videos already that you did before you joined Genomi, that you reviewed a couple of Genomi machines, even again, before you joined Genomi. Yes. Yeah, because people are always asking me, what is a good uh, budget-friendly or starter machine that's going to last a long time? I think that's the number one question mm. I get asked in terms of recommendations. And so, yeah, I mean, I've always said, Janome, that's, that's the brand. <laughs> if you're going to choose a brand that you want to stick with and, you know, uh, get on, Janome, uh, you know, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. Oh, sweet. That's excellent to that. That's exactly how I felt too. The When I was in college and needed a machine to use at home, I had heard, of course, many brands out there, but yes, Janome was always the one that I had heard always, oh, again, really good, simple to use, not that expensive for like a more entry-level machine and happened to, you know, find a great promotional sale at the time. Uh, at the various dealers. So again, always check with your Genomi Canada dealer. Maybe they've got their own special promotions going on. Uh, so yeah, right place, right time, bought the machine. And now 31 years later, you know, here I am. So I thought that was great that uh, even again, before you joined Genomi, you were already partial to Genomi machines, already bought that, you know, MB4 all on your own. And uh, so I think that's great. Uh, we'll certainly look at... Um, hooking you up with some more Genomi machines. Because <laughs> yes. that's the fun thing, is that there's uh, so many out there to use and to learn, and especially more, some of the feedback that we've been getting uh, the last little, you know couple of years uh, from consumers is they want more videos and they want more about all machines, you know, not just the big fancy top of the line machines, but they want more about, you know, entry level and all machines. And this is where again, oh, Tobias, your experience uh, will definitely come in handy and can help produce uh, some of those videos. And 
Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I thought it would be lots of fun. And certainly share your tips and tricks of garment sewing. Uh, you know, uh, quilting is still huge. A lot of us are, are quilters on the team. But I always love, uh, again, uh, the diversity of everyone and, and their sewing specialty. So garment sewing then is, uh, you'll share a lot of those uh, tips and tricks for everyone, not only in the Genomi Life blog, but then again, when we go out to the dealer stores and presenting the uh, education events, uh, again, the, the consumers, the audience always love if you can share little tips and tricks with them. So that's great. Yeah. You definitely have lots of experience to share. Oh, absolutely. I have so many ideas, you know, floating around <laughs> in my head for ideas. Um, yeah, especially with those entry level machines. Yeah, I think they could definitely use some more love because they really are very good machines that can last you a very long time. Mm. And, uh, you know, I think I'll probably get one for myself just to have a zigzag and a free arm and buttonholes and so mm. forth. And then I can also, you know, go down to the, the sewing and learning center in Oakville. And, uh, you know, you've got all the machines laid out there and I can, yes. just, you know, <laughs> sit down at one and make a little video and say, oh, look how great this machine is. So I'm very, very excited as as well for the machines that I'm going to be getting. That's what I'm most excited. Yes, for. yes. <laughs> yes. I'm I said when I first joined Janome, again, it's going on uh, seven years already. Um, I said, oh, it was just like Christmas uh, yes. that when I got to bring some machines home with me. And again, they're on loan, but yes, I got to bring some machines uh, home with me and it's like, oh, it's just like Christmas and get to play around with them to really learn them. And then again, write blog posts about them. And we didn't do as many videos then, uh, but again, the one good thing with COVID is that, you know, we had to find ways to connect with everyone while we were all at home. And again, luckily technology and everything had improved more. So uh, more social media, everybody was getting online more and more comfortable with being online and doing videos and social media and all that. So uh, again, that's why we'll be doing more. We will be doing some in-person events at dealer stores and at the Sewing and Learning Center. But again, we're doing more videos and more um, uh, you know, uh, online uh, events as well through social media. So everywhere that we can share the Janome love. So I'm so happy you're um, on board for all of that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because yes. we can't do it alone. We need definitely more help. So that's fabulous. Yes. So, I'm... yes, thank you. I will uh, let everyone go. You know, we could, of course, go on and talk about sewing forever. <laughs> but again, to look for more. This was mainly a good introductory to say hi to uh, Tobias and uh, let everybody out there know that, yes, he's uh, joining our Genomi Canada team and look for him at a uh, local Genomi dealer near you uh, mm -hmm. soon as we go out to do our education events. And again, on uh, contributing to the Genomi Life blog and our social media so again, we're just trying to share more Janome love with everybody. <laughs> so thank you so much, uh, Tobias, for uh, joining me today. And we will see you all soon. Happy sewing. <laughs> Happy sewing. <laughs>